Hello everyone, I'm Yue. It's my pleasure today to present you our SDF diff, which is a novel approach for image-based shape optimization using differentiable rendering of 3D shapes represented by sine distance fields. The differentiable rendering strategy has been objective as a conceptual framework to solve inverse problems, such as recovering shape or appearance models from images. Combining differentiable rendering with neural network can also solve highly ill-posted inverse problems, such as single-view 3D reconstruction. Existing differentiable rendering approaches are mostly based on triangle meshes or point clouds. However, mesh-based approaches cannot change the surface topology, and point cloud-based approaches do not provide continuous and watertight surfaces. Compared to other representations, sand distance fields have the advantages that they can represent shapes with arbitrary topology and guarantee watertight surfaces. In this project, we developed SDF-DIFF, an SDF-based differentiable rendering process. We applied our approach to the problem of multi-view 3D reconstruction, where we achieved high reconstruction quality and could capture complex topology of 3D objects. We further demonstrated that our SDF-based differentiable renderer can be integrated with deep learning models which opens up options for learning approaches on 3D objects without 3D supervision. We developed a differentiable render based on sphere tracing. We use a discrete SDF representation by sampling SDF values on a regular grid, and we apply a standard recasting algorithm based on sphere tracing to find the intersection points between rays and the object surface. Then we locally compute the pixel colors based on the local set of SDF samples. The sphere tracing step does not need to be differentiable, so the computation cost of this step is negligible in our approach. Only the last shading step uses an automatic differentiation framework to obtain the derivatives. So the derivative of a given pixel with respect to rendering parameters only depends on a local neighborhood of eight SDF samples. Given a set of parameters theta representing the geometry description and the render R, it is a forward operation to produce an image I. In contrast, optimizing geometry and other same parameters from images is a backward process. Given a desired target image I, our objective is to get the set of parameters theta that produces the target image. The rendering process itself is not invertible. So instead of solving the inverse rendering problem directly, we can formulate it as an energy minimization problem. The energy function of our SDF diff approach contains three parts. Image loss is the L2 distance between rendered images and the target views. SDF loss ensures the gradients to have unit magnitude so that the SDF values represent a valid sine distance function. We also have a geometry loss to regularize the finite difference Laplacian of the predicted SDFs so that we can get smooth surface. Here we show some results of multi-view 3D reconstruction using shape optimization with our SDF diff approach. Using a multi-resolution approach, our optimization could converge to high-quality resolutions. Our approach is able to reconstruct geometry with high level of detail and complex topology, even with few input views. In our experiments, we used 26 input views placed around the object and facing towards the center of the bounding box. Here we use a toy example to show that our SDF diff approach can change the topology of 3D shapes. We leverage our SDF diff to train a diff neural network to perform single view 3D reconstruction without 3D supervision. The input is an image from the shapenet dataset, and the output is a discrete SDF. The loss function contains image loss, SDF loss, and geometry loss, as we mentioned before. Compared to other methods, our SDF diff approach can reconstruct detailed objects and accurately recover complicated topologies. Our results achieve higher accuracy than the state of the art in terms of 3D IOU scores in most of the categories of ShipNet. In the end, I appreciate all the support from my co-authors. Thank you and try out our code.